Yo, here comes the show, illegally parked. Yo, uh, you can't park over there. Can't, but you can't park, park over there. Yo, look, man, look. Okay, go ahead and do it. Welcome to another special episode of ILP TV. I am your host, Patrick Ford, and yes, it is true, the zoo is coming to you. Little kids out there who's living in the hood, living in the crib, living in the special parts, they don't have a zoo besides a dog pissing on a fire hydrant. Gather close to the TV because we have something very special for you. Today, I would like to introduce you to our lovely guest, Mr. Nigel. Good day to you, sir, and little ones out there in television land. And Nigel is what I would like to call a zoologist. Now, can you explain in your own word, what the hell is a zoologist? That would be the study of animals, be it mammals, fish, or birds. We got a few questions here for you. First of all, Adrian in Texas wants to know, what is your favorite animal? That would be the platypus, of course. I love me some platypus myself. <laughs> your platypus get wet? Absolutely, every day. My platypus get work every day, too. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next question. I have a question here from Lee. Lee wants to know, can you actually ride a seahorse? Oh, that would be no. The longest seahorse in record is six and the three quarters inches long. <laughs> that reminds me of something else. <laughs> Ain't that right, platypus? And next question is from Keisha. Nigel, what type of sound does a shrimp make? Uh, would that be a jumbo shrimp or a petite shrimp? She's from Louisiana, so it's Creole shrimp. Creole shrimp is just before or after they're getting boiled. That's why he's a zoologist. Smart man poses all the right questions. Before. Before is like this. That's <laughs> like what I do when I'm down on that platypus. Antonio would like to know what sound does a giraffe make? Well, it's very hard to hear a giraffe because he's so tall. But once I did hear a giraffe and it sounded just like this. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, yes, sir. in certain kingdoms, certain animals are known to be clean while others are known to be dirty. Like you, Keisha, sleeping with the mailman while I'm over here filming this. Might as well give it up to the landlord, too, so we can get free rent. Shame, shame. Anyways, Robin here would like to know, what is the dirtiest bird? Well, that depends. Is Robin a boy or a girl? Robin is actually a girl. Uh, Robin, that would be the swallow. Swallow. Now, I've got a question for all the little ones out there listening and for you today. What are camels most known for? Oh, I got this one. My cousin called it. Um, giving people cancer? No, not those. The actual camel. One hump or two, you know? What are camels known for? Camel toe, of course. <laughs> Nigel, you are a freak. Nigel, yes, now I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What is the sexiest animal you've ever come across? Well, the sexiest animal I've ever come across would be a, a beaver, a big, fat, hairy, smelly beaver, of course. So, do you eat the beaver? I try to eat the beaver once a day. Okay. So you, you actually care for these animals, yet you kill them and you eat them? Oh, I care for them deeply, but I do not kill them, I don't harm them. I eat them if they let me and if they like me. Interesting. Now, Nigel, I hear that there's a pet zoo at the zoo? We are famous for our petting zoo here. We have uh, snakes, lots of snakes to be stroked. We also have mammals, horses, birds. We also have some large ostrich eggs that need to be kept warm and fondled every now and then. Nigel! Okay, so you can Nigel, get that word! Nigel! What are you, Nigel, what are you doing, Nigel? Nigel! Is there okay. an animal that needs help? Nigel! I'll, I'll be right there. Just, I'll be right What are you doing? I'm just doing an interview here. I, you make $8 an hour. You need to get your ass back to work. You know what? They got flooding in South South. I'll be right there, sir. Get them off of me. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Thank you, sir. Is there an animal that needs your help, Nigel? I am not for sure. I know it's in stall 7 there. What, what do you do here, Nigel? Well, among other things, I'm a custodian. So you mean the animal noises you've been making has been fake? Um, well, they sound rather real to me. 
So you mean I just wasted my time and my camera? Man, get the hell out of my camera. No, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, this, is, this has been another letdown. We will, look, IOP camera, come on, follow. Come on, man. Children, I'm at www.